Hello YouTubers. It's a little late for me, but I'm set that the first opportunity I got to do this video uninterrupted, I was going to do it. So, here is my video for my coupon book. I said in my last video, I'm a couponing queen in training. So, when I really made the decision to put in the time and effort to start couponing, I learned that I needed to organize my coupons the best way possible. So this is just like a regular, um, I think it's like a 3 inch binder, 3 inch ring binder. And I don't know if you could see it, but it has like a plastic cover in the front so I could stick all my flyers in there. And I don't have to like have them in a bag all crumbled up and stuff. But I can um, stick them right there and they stay. I just have this one on the outside to cover my personal information on the front. Just in case I was to ever, God forbid, lose my couponing book. Someone can reach out to me. Now, this I got from watching a couple of videos is important to have. Like you can see, these are some coupons that I haven't filed yet. I keep a pen in there. Um, I don't know if you can see the pen right there. I keep a pen in there just because I have... Okay. I have like subject dividers in here, and I'll, in a second I'll show you how I have them organized. And I also have extra subject divider labels in case the ones I have fall out. Because I did get two packs of the same kind of dividers. As you, I don't know if you could tell, like the size of this and the look of it is different than this, but the rest of them are the same. So. This is how I organize my coupons, and I just told myself that I'm going to get a little bit more in detail with the way that I organize them because it helps me when I'm looking for stuff. Pretty much what I'm going to start doing is even though I have them in sections, I'm going to try to cluster all of the the alike coupons. Like you can see, I keep the two, the two L'Oreal coupons next to each other, so I'm not flipping back and forth in this whole area for them but my first area I have soap and shampoo I don't know how well some of you can see that but soap and shampoo I combine them because it didn't make sense for me to use waste the um a divider for each and yeah it wasn't that important so all of my soaps and hair shampoo it, 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 whether it's bars of soap or uh, the shower gel, facial cleanser, doesn't matter. They're all here in this area. I have baseball card holders to hold my coupons. Now, there are some horizontal ones, but I would need so many of them. And actually, those the horizontal ones are not for baseball cards. They, I don't know what they're for. I saw some lady on Extreme Coupon and she had it. I guess so that when she prints her coupon, she could just stick it in. But that just was a little too much for me. Like, I don't have a problem with folding mine up. But, um, I, oh, I also keep, um, no, I don't. Never mind. But, yeah. And from the looks of it, I made a couple boo-boos, see? I put dish detergent in here. But really, the dish detergent is supposed to be in the next tab, which is for cleaning products. Cleaning stuff like um, bathroom cleaner, dish cleaner. I keep the air freshener, um, the Glade coupons, Febreze spray. All of that type of stuff I keep together in this section. Raid um, for like the summertime. When the ants try to crawl through your window because it's so damn hot outside. Um, the, the wipes, dish detergent, the toilet bowl thingies, sponges because that's a cleaning product. Um, just all the cleaning stuff. Glade plugins. All the cleaning stuff is in this tab. Next tab I got dental products mouthwash, toothbrushes, dental floss, 
anything that got to do with your teeth is here right here in this section um next is lotion now usually in the lotion section i will put like lotions creams and deodorants but when i first started i just realized i got like two deodorant coupons in the soap area so i gotta take them out put them where they're supposed to go the next one is tissue so all the tissue and paper towels it's all right here every brand that you can think of that they got a coupon for i got the coupon in that area now this one it has so much stuff and i don't even know why i keep these coupons because I don't even like taking medication. This is my medicine. See? Can you see? The lighting. Maybe because it's such a dark green. But. Migraines. Band-Aids. Gas X. Anything dealing with medical. Any type of. Like Neosporin is here. One a day vitamins. Next care. Advil vitamins. Osteo, Biflex, Gaviscon, Sudafed, Claritin, eye drops are even here. I don't know if you can see that, but Icy Hot. Anything medical is here. Laundry, this is one of my favorites because I just started buying Tide when I started collecting coupons. So it makes me feel a little special like I made an accomplishment in my life. Because before I would never buy Tide because I thought it was too expensive. But now with these coupons, I can do it this is the laundry tab so all the detergent fabric softeners it's all here now this coupon right here is a dollar off of um surf detergent i had never heard of that detergent before but at my local stop and shop one day they had a sale spend 25 dollars or more and you can use one of their store coupons and get the surf detergent for a dollar 99 I was I had this coupon at that time, another one obviously, and I only had to pay ninety nine cent for the detergent. And when I used it, it not only cleaned my stuff, but it made it smell so good. But I had never heard of it before. I love whisk. They um sometimes you could catch a whisk on sale at CVS for like two ninety nine, mm -hmm. and I used the coupon. Um, here's all my Tide stuff. I love Tide, and I could combine these because they're all different so as long as I get three Tide detergents I can use all of these if I get two Tide detergents which is what this coupon is for then I can only use this one this one maybe this one if I could include pods in it but that's how that works this is for razors I don't even know why. This is another one where I don't know why I have all these coupons because I don't need this many damn coupons for razors. I really don't. Um, but this previous Sunday, I found this coupon. Buy one, get one. And I also have, like, I think somewhere in here, like a $3 off coupon. No, $2. See? Buy one, get one on disposable razors. Here's a $2 off coupon. So that's great. And if I had another one for like a dollar off, I could use that also. Because I have two different products. Um, this one is for my starches. Rice and pasta. Not much there. Chef Boyardee, the microwave bowls. This, save a dollar on any of the Baria pasta, blue box pasta. That blue box pasta is 98 cents at Pathmark today. Yeah, Pathmark. So, that's a good deal. I went there earlier and I just so happened to make sure I walked down that aisle. My favorite section. Candy. Anyone who knows me knows I love candy. CVS always has a lot of store... Um, coupons for candy and this is where I use these coupons the most at CVS Starburst, Skittles, Lifesavers, Twizzlers, chocolate big bags of chocolate can you see that? oh Trident gum um, next is for vegetables I only have this I typically buy 
like the store brand of frozen vegetables or canned corn. And there's not usually too many coupons for the vegetables that I shop for. But let me hurry along. Next tab is for juice. Um, juice and water. All liquids except for milk is here. Like the Gatorade, ginger ale, Welch's drinks. I don't know if you can see them. If it looks gray, like black and white, that means I printed the coupon. This one is breakfast. All my breakfast stuff. So whether it's cereal, waffles, pancakes, syrup, um, breakfast bars. All those coupons are in this area. I try to make it as convenient as I can for myself. So when I'm in the store, if I have to flip through the book, I know exactly where to look. Try to keep things organized. This is for snacks. For me and the family, we love to snack. So whatever you consider a snack, if you choose to organize your book like this, you put that in that snack area. So popcorn, cookies, fruit snacks, Pringles, Nutri-Grain bars, ice cream bars, all in the snack area because that's just stuff that we snack on. Um, dairy, that's the next, this tab right here is, um, dairy. I have butter, cheese, milk, just all dairy. If I had, I think I, I had a, um, Eggland's Best coupon, but I used that about two weeks ago. But that would be in this area. This tab is for meat. I'm learning that I see a lot of hot dog and Hormel chili coupons in the papers, but... I clipped some other ones just yesterday. No, yeah, yesterday now. Um, when I look, got the Sunday paper. But all my meats that I could use a coupon for are in this tab. Now, these are the different tabs that I was telling you about. The separators, this is the different one. But I like these because it has a folder on each side. So if I got an odd shaped coupon that I really just don't feel like filing. I just stick them in there. And they stay. They don't slide out. This tab is for sauce and condiments. So you got sugar, salt, seasoning, salt, jelly, pepper, mustard, ketchup. Just all of that stuff. Hot sauce, salad dressing. It's in that area. It's saucy. It's messy. It, it's just that in that area. The next I got by store. Because a lot of these stores have their own coupons. So this is my ShopRite area. Right now I don't have any ShopRite store coupons. This next one is CVS and Walgreens. It's kind of dark so you can't see it. These are two Walgreens coupons. And that's one CVS coupon. This next one is Family Dollar and Rite Aid. No coupons for them right now. Walmart and Target. As you can see, these are all for Target. And look, two of them for Ty. That's great. And I think I got another one for the Downey. See? You got to know how to, got to remember what coupons you got. That's important. Um, this next one is for A&P and Food Town. I think this is for A&P because I don't go to Food Town too often. But, yeah, it is for A&P. And it doesn't expire until sometime in July. Now, this is my miscellaneous tab for everything that didn't qualify, so to speak, for its own tab. So, bread, garlic bread, nail polish, feminine hygiene products. Because those coupons I don't usually let sit. I just use them up. But Q-tips, hamburger helper, Ziploc bags, uh, just... Everything else, garbage bags, all of this type of stuff that I'm not going to make go out my way and make a tab for it just for two to three coupons. Um, inserts, gel inserts, aluminum foil, kitty stuff. All of this stuff goes in miscellaneous. And I kind of got a good memory so I can remember where, what is where. And the last one is for fast food. Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Friendly's, Longhorn. I think I even got, um, I might have misplaced them. Cold Stone, yeah, there it is. A Cold Stone coupon. That, see, this is an example of what I was telling you. I didn't feel like cutting those, so I just stuck them in there. But 
this is how I organize my stuff. I, I was thinking like, okay, maybe you could organize it by the expiration date. But these coupons sometimes have some wacko expiration dates. Then I'm like, organize it by the expiration dates month. But if I organize it from January to December... And I'm looking at all the coupons that expire in January. And I'm trying to, if I'm, say, for instance, in the aisle, and I need to hurry up and get this coupon. I mean, at the register, and I need to hurry up and get this coupon. I don't feel like flipping through a bunch of pages within the January time frame to look for this coupon. Not to mention, when January is over, that whole tab is just going to be flat out empty. It's like a waste of space. I would rather organize this stuff somewhere similar to how they have it in the stores where you look up at the aisle and it tells you what's there. So I look at my book and it tells me what's where. Um, and I make sure, I say about every two to three weeks, I go through each and every last page and I pull out the expired coupons so I don't embarrass myself on the register. Because that's annoying and I hate when other people do it. But everyone has their own way of organizing their coupon book. This is what works for me. Like I said, I am going to be making a change of within each section, putting the light coupons next to one another. It'll make it that much easier on me when I'm in the store. But I hope this video was helpful. Any questions or, or concerns, feel free to ask. And I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.